Hi, I'm Jay with Noble Canine, and I'm here to talk about food aggression and resource guarding of food. While both of these things might seem very similar, the reactions that can be caused by these traits can be very different as well. Imagine if you're eating something, I will walk up to you and I will attack you just to take away the food that you have in your hand. That is food aggression. Resource guarding is if I'm eating something and you walk too close to me and I start to show signs of aggression. That is because I fear that I might lose the resource that I currently have. Food aggression is often oversimplified as dominance or being the alpha. Now, both of these are dangerous and should not be taken lightly. But to help everyone understand it a little bit better, we must first understand why dogs display these traits. All forms of resource guarding comes from a place of fear. Back then, wild dogs had to hunt for their own food and if they did not protect what they had, someone else might come along and take it away. This is a fear of losing resources. In this particular case, it's a resource of food. A starving dog would have to take desperate measures to ensure it survives, even attacking another animal for their food. That is why we avoid using physical punishment with dogs displaying these traits. You can't use aggression to cure aggression. Fast forward to a current year. Even though our dogs at home have been domesticated and they no longer need to hunt for food, there are still genetics present in our modern dogs that may result in them displaying this behavior usually triggered by an experience when our dogs were still puppies, little mates might have been competing for food since they were born. Some pet parents might have fed all of the puppies from the same bowl. There might be one or two puppies that, without knowing, have been utilizing aggression to get more of their fill, whilst the weaker ones keep getting pushed away. Now, both of these puppies might develop some form of food aggression. The more aggressive puppy realizes that if I shove, I growl, or I fight, or I bite, I get more of the food. The so-called victim puppy, the weaker ones, might develop resource guarding because they are more fearful of not getting enough food or of their food getting stolen. Now, these forms of food aggression or resource guarding could also be directed differently. Some dogs might have food aggression with only humans. Some might only have with other animals. It could range anywhere from someone coming near their food bowl or even to someone stepping into the kitchen where their food is usually prepared. So what can you do about this? It is imperative that any form of resource guarding or food aggression should be appropriately treated as soon as possible. Is that right, Blue? The longer you let this behavior go on, the harder it becomes to manage or solve this issue that they have. And worst case scenario, it develops into something much more threatening as well. That's why we at Noble K9 emphasize or something. That's why we at Noble K9 emphasize on the importance of understanding your dog, and the aggressive behavior should not be ignored. Your canine family member needs your help to understand that they are in a safe and loving environment.